the Cairngorm Mountains, Scotland's last true wilderness. Winter brings a serene beauty to the landscape. It's a majestic monochrome medley. While much of the land is held in an icy grip, some of the deeper locks escape its grasp. A golden eye makes the most of the opportunity. It's a diving duck and must brave the icy water to find food. These ducks are superbly adapted to their lifestyle. More compact and heavier than other waterfowl, they also appear to shrink just before they dive. Feathers squeezing together to get rid of trapped air and reduce buoyancy. Resurfacing, the cold lock is literally water off a duck's back, which is just as well. In these freezing temperatures, wet feathers could be fatal. The Cairngorms are the only place in the UK that experiences a true Arctic-style winter. And the beauty of the landscape belies the harsh reality of life here. In the depths of winter, animals are scarce. Only the hardiest can survive. Mountain hares are the largest mammal able to remain up here. Having shed their summer coats, they blend in perfectly. Only their ears give them away. Mountain hares have an incredibly thick coat with three different layers of fur to keep the cold out and the warmth in. But nevertheless, to survive in the sub-zero temperatures, they must rest as much as they can. Food is scarce on the mountain. The summer grasses have died and only heather remains hidden under the thick snow. But hares are experts in knowing where to dig They aren't the only creatures relying on this nutrient-poor plant to get them through the winter. Ptarmigan are also abundant here. Like the hares, these grouse have special winter plumage. They are, perhaps, the ultimate mountain specialist and are fully equipped to survive the cold. Expansive foot feathers act like dual-purpose snowshoes. Their nostrils are hidden, and even their eyelids have a feathery outer coating. But even with all this protection, they still need to hunker down to keep warm. Snow holes give a degree of shelter on these exposed slopes. But why dig your own if you can steal someone else's? A raised red eye comb indicates that the thief isn't about to give his spot up in a hurry. This is an unforgiving place to overwinter. But these ptarmigan, like the other animals that live here, have found ways to survive 
even in the UK's most extreme winter environment. <laughs> 